Hey there, fellas. There's really nothing to hide here. You can see for yourselves what we're packing. As you might remember, we tried driving around on some empty 1.5 liter bottles. But since it was winter, everything froze up and disintegrated. We tried using some beer cans. That didn't work either, even if they were full. They also started popping. So as I promised, and last time I did promise that we'd take another crack at it. Anyway, today we'll be using full one and a half liter bottles. Let me just be honest here. After a bit of deliberation, as you can see, I've also got a bunch of aluminum cans here, filled with some Coca-Cola. Here's what I wanted to do with them. At least try, I mean, I had a hunch that things wouldn't go exactly as planned. Indeed. Today at 6 o'clock in the morning, things went pretty sour. They started exploding with such force that the fridge started shaking. I took them out naturally, and they're in pretty bad shape. The freezer took a serious ass whooping too, which means later today I'm going to be in trouble. No worries, I can handle it. I also screwed up the bathtub. That's where I placed the damaged cans, which obviously started dripping, leaving some residue along the way. Orthophosphoric acid does that to you. It doesn't take it easy on enamel for sure. I'll figure something out. So here's what we'll be doing. Obviously the frozen cans aren't good for anything, especially when ruptured. That leaves us with wrapping some 1.5 liter Coca-Cola filled bottles around the wheel using some scotch tape, throwing it onto the car and trying it out. Let's do this. Using Coke bottles to make a tire. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Right. What's up? So far so good? The caps already seem to be pretty puffy. Store-bought cola is obviously cooler than what we've had sitting around for a while. I'm certainly going to have to wash my car. No worries, I got a friend nearby who will uh, get it clean for only 100 rubles. Tough luck, man. The entire load is coming down on this one bottle. I mean, two would be so much better. I'm bringing it down really, really slowly. There we go. Finally. Okay, looking good so far. So everything's mounted. We good. No bottles blowing out so far. Now I sit down and hopefully they stay that way even after I get in the car. Awesome. Fire it up, and off we go. What's up? Okay, so unfortunately our first try didn't go so well. The scotch tape fell apart with the bottles all going to one side. It's nothing. We just go get some more scotch tape and take another crack at it. We're back at the garage after arming ourselves with some more scotch tape. Some regular stuff, since all the local stores with uh, duct tape are closed for some reason. That meant we had to get five rolls of tape. Of course we lost two bottles. One of them was torn against a rock, the other was slightly damaged. We got rid of both and got some more cola. Let's wrap things up. Here goes another attempt. We went hard with the scotch tape this time. 
so that nothing falls apart this time around. Perhaps I could do this a bit faster, or maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, the first time everything seemed to be okay. And we have the weight pressing down on a single bottle again. I mean, what the hell, man? Then again, actually a second one is coming to play. If this pops, I'm not gonna have time to run away. Success! It's finally on the ground. Now we drive. Let's hit the road. Careful now. Okay. Should I close the window or no? Then again, I do need to dry clean the cabin anyway. Screw it, this will have to do. Slowly and carefully. We looking good so far? Sweet. Let's do reverse then. What's up? Looks okay. So it works. That's great news. You sure? Maybe one more time. Let's do it one more time. What happened? Same as last time? It fell off. So we tried driving around on bottles filled with cola. They can actually handle quite a bit of pressure. You saw that when the wheel was spinning, the bottles held up perfectly fine. It's the pebbles on the asphalt that get them. There's obviously a bunch of tiny pebbles and shards of glass. That's what's getting them cut up. They do withstand a bit of pressure, though. The only problem is uh, our wheel keeps trying to evacuate. Scotch tape isn't enough to keep them from coming off the wheel. I think this little experiment went quite well. We'll store this cola somewhere. Maybe even give it another try sometime. Once we figure out how to keep these bottles from sliding side to side. Anyway, that's enough for today. Watch our videos, subscribe, leave some comments, hit the like button and see you later.